Hello everyone, welcome back to Entertainment Biz. Today, we're looking into the love story and eventual breakup of two rock icons, Derek Wibley and Avril Lavigne and her other relationship in the succeeding years. Their relationship was one for the ages, filled with romance, music, and ultimately heartache. Stick around as we dissect their journey from the highs of love to the reasons behind their divorce. In the early 2000s, Canadian pop-punk princess Avril Lavigne was first introduced to punk rocker Derek Wibley of some 41 when she was still 17 years old. They bonded immediately over their love of music and their Canadian ancestry. They started dating when Avril Lavigne was 19 years old. Before we continue, please subscribe to this channel and click that notification bell for more entertainment business that you need to know. In 2004, their romance blossomed, and they soon became one of the most popular couples in the music business. Derek was Avril's best friend and biggest supporter, as she frequently said. Following two years of courtship, they were married in a stunning ceremony in Montecito, California, in 2006. Derek looked sharp in his suit, while Avril looked gorgeous in a classic white gown. Their intimate family and friends attended their wedding, which was a true fairy tale. In an interview, Avril explained, we have been friends since I was 17, started dating when I was 19, and married when I was 21. The pop artist and his spouse Derek Wibley declared that they are divorcing amicably after months of hearing reports of marital problems. Levine filed for divorce on October 9, 2009, stating that there were irreconcilable differences between them. Wibley, some 41's frontman, posted, The past six and a half years have been the most amazing years of my life. It's sad it has come to an end but Avril and I are still family and moving forward in the most positive way possible. Our decision to part ways is amicable and she holds a special place in my heart and forever will be a great and amazing friend. Thanks to all our family, friends and fans for all the support. Avril Lavigne, on the other hand, writes on her website saying. I am grateful for our time together, and I am grateful and blessed for our remaining friendship. I admire Derek and have a great amount of respect for him. He is the most amazing person I know and I love him with all my heart. Derek and I are separating and moving forward on a positive note. Officially single since November 16, 2010, Avril Lavigne and Derek Wibley had been seen out together but also partying separately and getting together in public for a while. Once the parties reached an agreement on the terms of their divorce, a Los Angeles judge approved the divorce decree. Less than a year after they filed for divorce, the legal approval was granted. Since then, Wibley has been photographed with model Hannah Beth Merjos, and in February 2010, Levine hooked up with Hill's hottie Brody Jenner. Their relationship has grown so serious that both of them have tattoos of the other's names. January 2012 they broke up. On the same year, Levine started a relationship with Chad Kroger, Nickelback's vocalist, and engaged after a month. After being engaged since August 2012, Avril Lavigne and Chad Kroger are finally talking about the proposal and their impending nuptials. He made the proposal by secretly slipping a picture of himself wearing the engagement ring into a scrapbook Lavigne had at the recording studio. He then used stickers to make the words, Will You Marry Me, appear in the book. On 2013, Chad and Avril got married in the south of France. In an interview, Chad said, we think it's very cool that our anniversary will always be on Canada Day. We can't wait to start our life together. Avril Lavigne's marriage with Chad Kroger didn't last long. In September 2015, they announced their divorce. Lavigne wrote in a post saying, It is with, a, heavy heart that Chad and I announce our separation today. Through not only the marriage, but the music as well, we've created many unforgettable moments. We are still, and forever will be, the best of friends, and will always care deeply for each other. To all our family, friends and fans, thank you sincerely for the support. From 2018 to 2023, Avril Lavigne had intimate relationships with different prominent individuals. Started from Philip Seraphim in 2018, Pete Jonas in 2020, and Maud Sun in 2021 which ended in 2023. Although Avril Lavigne's love story did not have a happily ever after, it was a journey marked by respect, love, and music. Her experience serves as a reminder that while relationships may not endure a lifetime, the memories and enduring effects they can leave behind might. We appreciate your joining us as we looked into the romantic tale of Avril Lavigne and Derek Wibley, 
as well as the interactions Levine had with other men. For more in-depth looks into the lives of your favorite celebrities, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Please share your thoughts about Avril Lavigne's love tale and suggestions for future topics of discussion in the comment section. Until next time, stay tuned and rock on!